I'm standing here with Pablo Aravena from Next Primer of Urban Painting. Pablo, welcome to the AFI Dallas Film Festival. How are you enjoying your time in Dallas so far? Well, I've been here for about four hours. Uh, so far, so good. We brought the great weather for you. Yeah, well, you know, I came from Montreal, so it was a lot colder. So I'm enjoying just the temperature right now. And uh, But uh, I hope to, to get to check out the city until, uh, before I leave. Yeah. What were you doing up in Montreal? Film festival? Uh, no, I'm based there. That's my oh, you're based home. in Montreal. Yeah. Okay. And tell us a little bit about your film. Uh, my film is a documentary, feature-length documentary about graffiti-based painting as a world culture and also looking at the evolution of the art form. It's not just about writing your name on the wall anymore. It's been around for 40 years. Uh, you know, it's going into the galleries. It's becoming, you know, well, it is a serious art form. And uh, part of the aim of the film is to show, um, you know, how uh, young people from different parts of the world took this New York, Philadelphia form and made it their own and, you know, using it to express their reality as well as how the form has grown up. You know, it's not just like, you know, on the street anymore. It's, it's you know, taking many forms like sculpture, architecture, painting, uh, design, uh, you know, it's on the web. It's a real aesthetic now and, you know, Part of the aim of the film is to not just talk to the graffiti crowd, but also to kind of talk to a mainstream audience to really educate them about graffiti and its value. And also, you know, so especially in America where it originates, so it can get some respect because, you know, just like jazz music 100 years ago, it wasn't regarded as a serious form of art. And now um, graffiti is the same thing, you know, it's, it's getting taken serious, it's going mainstream, you know, I just saw an ad for Target. Yeah. And it had graffiti on it, very well done. But my point is, is to show that cultural process, you know, because with jazz music now, it's at Berkeley, you know, it's not in the speakeasies no more. Right. It's, it's the black classical music of America, you know, and uh, I think graffiti is going to have that same cultural process where, you know, in 30, 40 years, it's going to be in the books, it's going to be the major museums, and we're going to look at these guys that originally were regarded as vandals, as serious artists, and, right. you know, people will recognize them. Eventually. Well, I mean, clearly there's a lot to say there, too. I mean, because when people are doing that, you know, you, it's very easy to chalk it up to just people creating mischief. But I think, you know, artistic expression, I mean, it's obvious there's artistic expression. I just noticed there was a book that had come out that featured nothing but graffiti art. So it's great that you're finally showcasing that. Is, uh, was this from a personal kind of a feeling like you had to get this out there, had to say something about it? Well, you know, I, I guess it came from, you know, me being involved with hip-hop culture since I was about 12 years old. Right. and. You know, it was a culture that gave me a lot growing up and I wanted to kind of give something back and, you know, for me it was, you know, there had been films about DJing or turntablism and I wanted to make a film about the visual side of the culture right. and, uh, you know, show how, how, you know, it had grown and, um, you know, uh, basically the other thing was kind of talk about what you know. You know, I had access to the story, I felt that there was this kind of boom happening in the late 90s, you know, and it's gone, gone on to now. It's kind of having its pop moment right now, so I wanted to kind of capture that, you know. Right. My whole concept was kind of, uh, imagine hanging out with the Impressionists when they were chilling in the cafe. That was the idea, you know, to yeah. capture that moment. Very cool. Cool, Pablo. We'll look for it. Thanks so much. Thank Welcome you. to Dallas.